Hello my wonderful people, welcome to my platform. If it is your first time of coming across my YouTube channel for the first time, you are welcome. I beg you for a favor after watching. If you like what I do here, please subscribe, put on your notification bell. That is very, very important because it will enable you to know when I upload a new video. I present to you news on daily basis about what is happening in the whole world, especially in Nigeria and in Biafran land. Before I present the news, I analyze it and I sit down there together to watch it with you. Then we'll come to the comment section to talk about it. You are free to criticize, to drop your opinion, but let us do it constructively. As we watch this video together, I appreciate your massive support. Let's watch the video now. Administration has deployed the Department of State Services oh, yes. in what they allege uh, are clearly illegal nocturnal oh. raids. They claim that the raids have been mainly targeted mm. against the South separatist groups All right. rather than the North uh, terrorist bandits and kidnappers. Give us your assessment to Well, uh, in the their first claim. place, let me say this very clearly, that the foundation of every agitation in this country is injustice. The foundation, listen very clearly and put this in your scrapbook, I beg you. <laughs> the foundation of every agitation, sir, is injustice. As I'm here, if I do a disservice to the woman I call my wife, she will protest and the house may be unlivable. If I'm unfair to any of my children and one observes, I don't think I'm going to enjoy their patronage as their father. The same thing with this country. Let us look at what the president said. The president of the country has attended two United Nations General Assembly. And let me put it in perspective. The one that was viral in 2015 was the fact that he was talking about the self-determination for the people of where? Of Palestine. One. The second one that has not gone viral was the case he has made, also on record for the Rohingya Muslims that have been wrongly treated by the people of Burma, known as Myanmar. That is the second one that has not gone viral. If the, if the president could make a case for them, why is the president or the leadership of this country uncomfortable with people asking for self-determination? Nigeria is a signatory to all the conventions available that permit or allows for self-determination. And why would anybody ask for self-determination? It is simply because the person feels, I am not being treated fairly in this marriage that has become very uncomfortable. That is one part of this conversation. Moving forward at the same time, when you are talking about the security operatives, do not forget that one of the most interesting parts of the role they played was to have gone to Kano to arrest somebody that said the president was going to take another wife. That is my own Department of State Service. <laughs> arresting people, or arresting somebody who said the president wants to take another wife. In the first place, the president's religion allows him to take four wives. And if a man says the president was going to get married, I think that you could leave the police that also attend to civil issues to go and arrest him. The DSS should not be seen in such cases. Thirdly, there was something that happened when they paraded certain things they said they saw in Igbo's home. They saw the paraphernalia of his traditional religious worship. The last time I checked this constitution that I have issues with, freedom of conscience and religion is one. And you cannot circumscribe a man who has decided to be a traditional religious worshipper and protect himself as such by displaying the charms you found in his house. In the first place, the amulet, the charms, are the paraphernalia of his religion. Have you arrested somebody with rosary? Have you arrested somebody with tesbiu? Why are you displaying all of those things? That is not part of what you should display. Then at the same time, the DSS came to his house. We have actually gone to places where I have sat with my lawyer friends that the way the DSS entered Igbo's house, was it proper? They said no. Was there an arrest warrant? Was there a search warrant? And don't forget that part of the issues described or described by the governor was that you cannot send people into a state when the chief executive is not aware. They went to Igbo's home. Governor saying Mackinde was not aware of people coming to do such job. That is also a disrespect to the first citizen of the state, a disregard. Then let me also say this. When Afara Haku, the place of Unam de Kano, was actually besieged by the military, do not also forget that the governor of that state is, was not aware of it. Let us walk within the confines of the law that we have sworn to uphold. These things are the reasons the governors of the South are saying certain things should not happen. And let me say this very clearly. The agitations may not abate. 
because if you think you have caught one other people are actually rising up and saying no treat people do you know that the anglican church in the east in the in, the, in anambra for instance according to certain things that i read recently have stopped the use of the the, the the nigerian flag and of course they don't accommodate the national anthem again that i read somewhere about three days or 48 hours ago you see when people see that you are not listening to them they will find a way to get your attention for instance, we are talking about the South-South people at the same time who are complaining. Has any respect been shown to the people of that region? Let us know that as students of political history, it took a lot of battle for them to even get the 13% derivation that they get today. And they are still telling you that the host communities are affected. Excuse me, people. I have traveled in the South-South of the country. I've gone to the pipelines. I am not a media person that sits in Lagos and talks. I have gone to the creeks. I've gone to the waterways of Ahoda. I've seen this pipeline, and I see the stark poverty in the lives of these people. Wow. Let us treat this country with fairness and justice so agitations can stop. This Abba. video that he has been exposing the secret of Nigeria's security, he has said it all. Just as he has said it in that video, all that is happening now in Zampara and other places. We brought the video, and the video was going around the, 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 the social media and other places. Since 2013, and this idiot, Colin Abakari, the chief of staff, he went up last week, Thursday, he was going from one media house to another, telling them not to use that video of Sheikh Ibrahim Zazaki, that it is going to cause problem in Nigeria. Who is going to see the problem? The authorities that are benefiting from the killing of innocent citizens. And they will come and sit down here, they will keep you here, protecting them. What are you protecting? Idiot, useless people that are supposed to be killed. They have killed more than 1,000 people. They are keeping a lot of people in Nigeria who already deserve to be killed because he's a criminal. You should stop wasting your time. They don't pay you allowances. They invest in your resources. They keep you under the sun. They sit now under the AC and it's not how to invest in your own resources and subject you into actual poverty and hunger. Can we continue like this? That is the reason of this poverty in Nigeria. They intentionally subjected the masses into abject poverty and hunger in such a way that you cannot think of the resources, you cannot think of ruling Nigeria, you only think of what how to, to get 20 naira and buy a cup of dairy and feed your family. Look at it. Is this the change we want in this country? The change that promotes you know, killing of citizens? The change that increases power? Prices in this country. When Jonathan removed the subsidy, what happens in Nigeria? People come out in mass and protest. Buhari led the protest. Buhari and Nasir Erbai. But today, Buhari the, immediately he come into power. He made the fall 145 from 95 naira to Jonathan. Today, as I'm speaking to you now, they have increased the fall price to 180 naira. Is this what you want in this country? We are just taking this money. What, what have this administration done to these citizens of Nigeria? Kill it? Do we vote for kill it? We know that they gave you power, Muhammad Buhari. Your foreign masters gave you power not because you deserve it. You have lost the election and they fabricated the result and announced you as the winner. We don't care. Even if Atiku becomes the president of Nigeria tomorrow, they may, they may influence him to kill his own citizens because Nigerians are, they are senseless, the leader. So we know Buhari did not win any election. He was given this power by force. Of course, they gave you power. But stop killing innocent citizens of Nigeria. If not, you will face the consequences. The power has its, its limited time. You just have to it. If you like, amend the constitution and come back for another eight years. You shall finish. And we shall meet in finish station. We shall meet in naming ceremony. We shall meet either in wedding ceremony, Muhammad Wari, you can never escape killing of 1,000 people out of churches again. And putting them in a mass area. This is 21st century. This is 21st century. You have killed followers of Sheikh Zazaki. You have detained Sheikh Zazaki because he is speaking against your tyranny and oppression. But for your own information, you are just keeping Zazaki in detention for Zazaki's movement is at the doorstep of your villa. And if, they, if it continues like this, if it continues like this, should anything happen, whatever comes up, Buhari should bear the consequences. The security should not say we did not tell you. We cannot fall our hands and allow them to kill our leader. 
we cannot fold our hands and allow these criminals to be killing innocent citizens in Nigeria, being then Christian or Muslim. Islamic movement is fighting for justice. Islamic movement is calling for the unity of the masses to come and challenge these oppressors at all costs. Because the only way of stopping tyranny and oppression in a country is for the oppressed to come out and challenge the oppressors at all costs. And therefore, we are ready to challenge these oppressions. Oppression. We are ready to fight this injustice in Nigeria till the last drop of our blood. As you can see me speaking, I'm 32 years old. I'm a graduate. And I am ready to die for the cause of these citizens, for, for the citizens of Nigeria to, to have a conducive atmosphere to live in peace. Until some people sacrifice their life in this country before we get peace in this country. Because we have animals ruling us. Why should Saudi Arabia give Buhari Muhammad Buhari? Watching Linda's TV show. I will see you again in my next video. Remain blessed. I appreciate each and every one of you. And keep on watching Linda's TV show. If you have not yet subscribed, please, I beg you to do that. So that you'll be getting more updates from me. Bye-bye.